Welcome to the Phase Separation Science TO15 Laboratory. We are committed to providing our clients with the resources to ensure the highest sampling quality. In this video, you will learn how to properly take an air sample for VOC analysis. The first type of air sample is an indoor air sample. Orders will include a chain of custody, sampling instructions, a can stand, a flow controller, and a sampling canister. The second type of air sample is a subsurface vapor sample. In addition to the components for an indoor air sample, you will also receive a 9 16 inch wrench and nuts and ferrules. If requested, you will receive nitrogen purged certified clean tubing. When you are ready to sample, place the can into the stand. You will notice that the flow controller has a dust cap covering the inlet. It must be unscrewed to allow surrounding air to enter the flow controller. This piece is the locking mechanism. It allows the flow controller to be locked onto the canister during sampling. For subsurface vapor sampling only, slip the ferrule into the nut with the wide end of the ferrule down. Carefully slide the ferrule and the nut onto the tube as shown. Slide the tubing into the inlet of the flow controller. Tighten the nut until it is finger tight. Then use the provided wrench to turn the nut one quarter turn more. After you click the flow controller down onto the can, you'll notice that the gauge moves to 30 inches of mercury, indicating an empty can. Afterwards, verify that the connector is fully engaged to the can. As the can samples, the needle will move clockwise towards zero. For your specified sampling period, the flow controller is calibrated to sample past 10, but not all the way to zero. When your sampling time is finished, simply remove the flow controller from the can and repack the bin you received. Double check your provided chain of custody. The times should be recorded according to a 24-hour clock, and the identification numbers on the can and flow controller must match each sample. The IDs can be found on the can and the flow controller as shown. After your chain is filled out, you may call phase to arrange for a pickup, or you may drop off the sample yourself.